हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो ऑफ रिसर्च नॉलेज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट टू अवार्ड द पी डिग्री फ्रॉम एनी रिकॉग्नाइज यूनिवर्सिटी इट इज मैंडेटरी कंडीशन टू रिसर्च स्कॉलर टू पब्लिश पेपर इन आइदर एस सी आई जर्नल वेब ऑफ साइंस इंडेक्स जर्नल और स्कोपस इंडेक्स जर्नल और इफ यू आर अ फैकल्टी इंस्टीट्यूट इज ऑलवेज आस्किंग यू टू पब्लिश पेपर इन दीज इंडेक्सिंग सिस्टम्स ओनली बिकॉज इट इज मैंडेटरी कंडीशन ऑफ एन बी ए एक्रेडिएशन प्रोसेस नैक एक्रेडिएशन प्रोसेस इवन दीज इंडेक्स जर्नल पेपर्स हैव मोर वेटेज इन एन आर एफ रैंकिंग सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट आर दीज इंडेक्सिंग सिस्टम्स आर वॉट इज इंडेक्सिंग एंड एब्सट्रैक्टिंग ऑफ अ जर्नल indexing and abstracting is just a process it is a process by which any journal is listed in searchable database there are many agencies which are creating this database like scopus clarivate so abstracting and indexing is just a process by which journals are listed in data this database this database is accessible to academics as well as researchers but all of you know that these are based on the subscriptions most institutions have access to this database only after they are getting the subscriptions there are two types of indexing very first is indexing of full text indexing to full text means there is access access to the entire text is granted through this database so you can download complete research article if you are having access to full text so very first is indexing to full text and second is indexing to metadata only which is called as indexing to abstract that's why it is called as abstracting so indexing to abstract abstract means you have access to metadata only what metadata covers metadata means it covers journal title article titles abstract authors names date of publication volume and issue numbers page numbers of that article subject area of that article keywords and ui number this much information is accessible to you if you are only indexing abstract and the full paper is accessible only when the full text is indexed in the indexing systems there are four different categories of indexing and abstracting very first is academics so academic services covering all subject areas right so academic indexing are provided by sci that is science citation index web of science which is provided by clarivate scopus which is provided by elsewhere google scholar and there are many more indexing system which provide the indexing to academics articles or academic services but these are the worldwide accepted recognized indexing systems which provide the quality of journal articles or quality to the article published in the journal that is sci web of science and scopus then there are few indexing in the corporations also like abasco host pro kest the csa there are few services in the very subject specifics like pubmed chemical abstract service index theologicus philosophers index and nowadays many journals are come up with the open access publications so there are separate indexing systems provided for the open access publication very first is directory of open access journals which is called as doaj and directory of open access journal uh, open access books which is called as doab so as a academician we are more interested in first and last services of course these are also there but the quality of any article if you want to judge then these two are the most important indexing systems 
your journal article must be indexed in either SCI, Web of Science or Scopus. Then only it is worldwide accepted by any agency or any accreditation system. So we will discuss all this one by one. Very first is Web of Science which is provided by Clariviate. There are five types of different indexing system comes under the banner of Clarivate that is web of science. First is science citation index. Nowadays it is known as science citation index expanded that is SCIE. Then emerging source citation index which is called as ESCI. Social sciences citation index which is called as SSCI. The Arts and Humanities, Humanities Citation Index which is called as AHCI. These five indexing systems are comes under the banner of Clarivate that is Web of Science. So these are considered as a topmost citation indexing systems. If your journal, book, book chapter is indexed in one of out of these five it is treated as a world class or excellent indexing system or indexing uh, world class journal article. The emerging source citation index is a citation index produced since 2015 by Thomson Reuters and now it is by a Clarivate. This Clarivate or Web of Science covers ESCI, SSCI, ASCI and SCIE Clarivate Web of Science database as I discussed. Every year Web of Science is reviewing every journal based on the quality index, based on their journal ranking, impact factor, all these citations, H index, based on all these parameters. Every year Web of Science is removing some journal from the database and adding some new journal in the database. There are two important criteria to add any journal in the web of science indexing system and those two criteria are very first is at least two years of published content that journal must have and second is that journal must publish on time articles for at least two years. Once any journal fulfill these two conditions they are eligible to apply for the indexing in web of science. Of course, after a lot of uh, evaluation, the web of science is giving indexing to that journal in the web of science. So this web of science index is treated as a one of the best indexing system for the articles and books or book chapters. These are the few links where you can see the journal list which are indexing the web of science. Now second is a Scopus which is also one of the top most indexing system. Scopus is database is provided by elsewhere. It is first time launched in 2004. Scopus database covers more than 36,377 titles which are indexed in the Scopus and out of these 36,000 more than 22,794 are active titles and 13,000 are inactive titles. 11,678 publishers now connected with the Scopus and out of that 34,346 are peer reviewed journals. All journals covered in Scopus are reviewed for four important parameters before accepting to give the indexing in Scopus and those four parameters are H index, site score, SciMago journal rank and source normalized impact per paper. In the very first video I discuss the SNIP that is source normalized impact per paper which is considered only weighted citations citations to the quality journals. So considering those citation whatever normalized impact per paper or impact factor that journal is getting based on these four parameters 
Scopus is accepting the journals to be indexed in Scopus. And because of this stringent process, every year Scopus is also adding new journals and removing the journals if they are not fulfilled to this quality check. Like this, if you see the few websites, few uh, links are given. If you go to these websites, you will find which are the journals are listed in Scopus, right? So these two, Web of Science and Scopus, are treated as the best indexing systems. There are few more. There are many more indexing systems. Few of them are listed here, but even more than these are available. But out of all these indexing systems, for the quality of journals and quality of publication, two are more important, and that is Scopus and Web of Science. These are mentioned here. These two indexing systems are important and which is worldwide accepted. Right? Now, along with these indexing systems, there are few more parameters which are important when you are publishing any article to the journals or when you are publishing a book. Very first is digital object identification number which is called as DOI. Digital object identifier. This is a standard unique number given to articles, papers, book chapters by the publisher. And using this DOI number you can find the articles through any uh, search engine. So it is just nothing but it is similar to the other of that article. If you know DOI, you can find that article anywhere from any database. So this is very important that always publish a paper in those journals which are assigning DOI number to your article. Then if you are writing a book, you know that that book must have ISBN number. If it is a journal, it must have ISSN number. So ISSN number means International Standard Serial Number. So journal must have ISSN number. ISSN number to the print copy of journal is different. ISSN number to the online copy of journal is different. So ISSN online and ISSN print. These two options you will see on the home page of any journal. And if you are writing a book, all of you know that that book must have the ISBN number to get the recognition as a standard book. That is international standard book number. So along with indexing systems either in Web of Science or in Scopus, your article or book must have DOI number also. At the same time, journal must have ISSN number, book must have ISBN number to get the recognition as a standard article in the research community. So as a closing remarks, I would like to tell you that always try to publish a paper in those journals which are indexed in either Web of Science and Scopus only. Don't publish paper in other database because those are not passed through the quality check, stringent process of quality checks. right? And even as far as our academic process is concerned to get the PhD degree for the NB accreditation, NAC accreditation, even ANRF ranking, the papers published in SCI, Web of Science or Scopus index journals are only considered. So this is about indexing and abstracting. I hope all of you have liked this video. In the next video, I will pass the some other information about the research. Thank you, thank you very much.